Okay, so excited Black History Month is close. I got to learn about Percy Julian, grandson of a slave, eighth grade education, teacher saw in him something, got him from Alabama to DePauw in Greencastle, Indiana, had to take high school courses along with college courses. Three years later, graduates top of his class. Think glaucoma, think steroids, think birth control. He had a hand in all of those. Was told no over and over and over again because of the color of his skin, never gave up. We can't talk about cultural leaders without talking about art and even the kind of art that you can wear. I know when you think about fashion leaders, you think about LA or you think about Chicago, but there are lots of people here in Indianapolis that have something to showcase and want to give designers a second chance and be able to show them that, hey, there are cool things happening right here in Indy too. You know, when I met Jeffrey Johnson more than 30 years ago, Eastern Star Church, about 300 people, good sized church now, thousands and thousands on three campuses proclaiming the word of God, but also reaching the east side community in a massive way with medical help, food, and building strong marriages. It's a great story. Absolutely, we need more of that in our community. <laughs> and when you think of Black History Month, you usually think of figures that may have passed on already. Well, this woman is Black history in the making. She is the first African-American woman who was president and CEO at Newfields. And her background is amazing. She's literally done it all. Now she's brought her talents to Indianapolis. Really cool. Yeah, excited to see that. And talking about a living cultural leader, how about a teenager being a leader? Mm -hmm. Sasha Manuel is a ballet dancer who grew up in Carmel and now she's dancing with the Royal Ballet. She's in London and put it in context. I said, how rare is this? How talented is she? And I was told it's like getting accepted into all the Ivies at once. Ooh. I can't wait to show you her dance. Incredible. And I'm going to introduce you to Portland Blade. You would think he's a movie star with that name, but he is an artist that is his true love. He goes into spaces in Indianapolis where he can highlight the history of black culture that happens in neighborhoods every day. And he does it with paint on canvas and it's beautiful. Coast legend Tariq Glenn grew up in the inner city of Northern California. When he was drafted and came to Indianapolis, he won a Super Bowl. He was part of that huge offensive line he blocked for Peyton Manning. He decided that when he moved to our city, he wanted to make an impact off the field. And so he's gone into the inner city, set up a nonprofit. He mentors kids, provides jobs off, job opportunities. Fabulous champion on the field and off. And excited to share all of these stories, champions, cultural leaders. Black History Month kicks off Wednesday, February 1st.